day I touched the horse, uh, the love affair began. I wanted to become a veterinarian. But once I got to the racetrack and actually met a standard bread, I knew I was home. And I've spent the rest of my life not working for a living. Linda Toscano is the big city girl from Brooklyn who found love in horses and made history when she was the first female trainer to be scribed in as a winner into the Hamletonian history books. The year was 2012, the horse was market share, and the August Saturday was magical. Well, it's, it's still surreal. It's, it's the way I describe the way the actresses and the actors describe when they win an Academy Award. It's a blur. Um, it, it was pinch me first. I can't believe this is happening second. And people came up to me and are still coming up to me and congratulating me about that race. And I remember Ronnie Pierce and Jimmy Tactor and people that have been lucky enough to win that race said to me that that's something that'll stay with you forever. It's like no other race. They're right. It's like no other race. The year before, Linda raced the world record holder Chapter 7 as the big favorite. Chapter 7 did not have a good Hamletonian day and finished fourth. That the big win would come only a year later with market share came as a big surprise. I knew he had a little bit of speed, but I didn't think that he was in the same league as Chapter 7. And he raced really well in his eliminations. He, uh, we took a shot and we got the post position that we, because he won, we got the post position that we wanted. And uh, Timmy and I spoke about it ahead of time and I said, look, I may never get this opportunity again. Um, baseball terminology, swing for the fence. I said, don't, don't give him a trip. Just go for it. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And it did. On market share, Tim Tietrich, Linda Toscano win the Hamiltonian. I honestly believe that there is something called fate. Linda trains her horses at Showplace Farms in New Jersey. Today there are 14 number of which half and half are pacers and trotters. Things were different in 1984 when she got her first trainer license. Ten years ago, pacers every day of the week, um, they're easier to train. They were my background, so for me they were easier to train. I felt like a fish out of water with the trotters. They certainly can make you tear your hair out, but they're also incredibly rewarding. It's a balancing act. You just need to get them balanced and uh, make sure that they're comfortable in their equipment. Trotters can certainly go a lot longer than pacers. I think a pacer, you get a great two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, it's very rare you see a horse, a pacing horse, go as long and as a trotter can. What's your training philosophy like? My training philosophy is, first and foremost, treat each horse as an individual. Do not put them in a basically a cookie cutter routine. It doesn't work for me. Um, I enjoy going with as many as I possibly can. I'm not the kind of person that can sit on the sideline and see things. I need to see, sit behind them. And don't hurt them. If you wait on them, they most of the time they'll reward you. What does it mean to have Tim Tietrich as a driver? <sighs> Everything changed when Timmy and I got together. I was a pretty successful trainer over here, but when Timmy and I found, formed a bit of a coalition, everything changed. He's a great friend, and he's uh, old beyond his years. He's a very patient driver for a young kid. He's got hands like nobody that I've seen in a very, very long time. I think he's been a big, huge part of our success recently. It was Tim Tietrich who drove market share to victory that magical August Saturday when Linda Toscano became America's own Helen Ann Johansson. But having been a pioneer is something that humble Linda does not want to emphasize. Um, I don't think about the gender thing. I know, I know everybody says the first girl, the first woman, the first everything. But I think about that there are only 80 some odd people before me that ever won that race. Forget girls, forget men. What does your life look like today? Never, never, never thought that I could um, make a living training horses. And um, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with my life. I'm pretty happy with, my, uh, with where my career has gone. And uh, every day is a new day. Every day is exciting. It's, uh, it's fun to get up and play with horses.